What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes news for April 23rd, 2024, and we actually have new early information about the upcoming event, which is I believe going to be called like the Altar of Light or something like that. We're going to have some special events, it is going to be Wishing Coin, and one thing, if you guys want a too long, didn't watch type description, you're going to need a lot of gems. There's a gem event. There's a mysterious gem um, chest event, uh, which seems like you need to do both of them to get the rewards. We will have to see on Thursday exactly what we need, but it is looking like a lot of gems is probably going to be important. Now, that's kind of a good thing at the same time, because maybe that means we don't need very many wishing coins to get some rewards. So if you have some gems, might be in a good spot. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Make sure you guys take one second, hit that subscribe button. Let's jump right into it. Okay, let's start off with the Altar of Light. The event says the Secret of Light was buried in the Sacred Realm. We can only get a glimpse of the lost rite from those forsaken implements. The Altar of Light, in the Altar of Light, you need to consume Arcana Shards to synthesize items required for starting the rite, by which the rite progress will be advanced. When synthesizing items reach a specific number, the corresponding gold rewards will be granted. As always, the English translation really doesn't tell you much of anything, but luckily we have the full WeChat Chinese translation that should help us out a little bit. So first off, it says in the light, it's, I mean, it's called the light chasing over here, but it's in the altar of light. You use these items to th synthesize props <laughs> required for the ritual and obtain random rewards. Successfully uh, initiating the ritual can increase the progress of the ritual. And when that gets to a certain point, you'll get the reward. So as far as the translation of the actual event goes, it sounds pretty similar across both. However, on the Chinese, it says ways to obtain these items, which are called the Arcana Shards. You get them from the Wishing Fountain event. You get them from Mysterious Treasure Box, VIP, and the extra gift pack for this week. So the big takeaway here is Wishing Coins and the Mysterious Treasure Box, which means the uh the, the mysterious boxes that we got the gem boxes that are coming next week the one thing i will say in this event right here which just seems like where most of the loot is going to come from it doesn't mention the other event that we're going to be talking about here that comes special with this one which means maybe the other one just gives other rewards but doesn't give the actual arcana shards we'll have to see the second event is called Ancient Mysteries. Consume gems to explore ancient mysteries. Each exploration grants a random reward and advances the progress. Reach 100% and get an extra goal reward. So again, this seems like one of those events that we've talked about recently or had recently that doesn't necessarily do much for your actual progression. You know, it's it seems like this one is a side event with some bonus loot. Uh, I feel like it'll be something like that foolish event we had or something where it just wasn't really that good, to be honest. We'll have to see how it plays out. But again, this Ancient Mysteries doesn't seem like it has anything to do with the Altar of Light, even though it is a gem sink. I'd imagine this event alone is going to be 20, 30,000 gems. And then, of course, for the Altar of Light event with the Mysterious Chess... That's going to be an expensive one too. So 50,000 gems is probably what I'm saying is going to be the minimum if you want to completely do this event. I'm kind of hoping this event does give those props too. That way it's easier to get rewards. We'll have to see. The next one after that is the Radiant Secret Tome. During this event, log into the game every day to get rewards directly. After purchasing a package to unlock additional rewards, you can get more. Uh, so yeah, if you purchase a special gift pack, you get additional rewards. But it just says log in and you get rewards which is interesting because it's not like it's not like what we have this week where it's like you have the profit orb tier and then you have the paid tier on the side it almost sounds like it's just going to be a seven day login reward which is i guess good for free to play and then if you buy the pack you get more i mean i guess that's a good thing now here's the one thing i want to talk about this is the last part we're going to go over. This is the series collection. There's going to be a new treasure series in Thralling Toyland online. Go search for them in the treasure train. Consume a certain number of treasure coupons to get rich rewards. The WeChat translation is almost the same. It just says use the treasure coupons to participate in a search and get points. When you get to a certain target, you'll get additional rewards. So this leads me to believe that we have a brand new non-charm festival treasure train series coming, which I said we probably had coming 
sometime soon and it looks like this is it because it felt like every like four to six months we've been getting an unofficial one which i mean i guess is a good thing so if you have been saving your normal treasure train tickets this might be a time to do it even for free to play because you could get some decent rewards out of it we'll just have to see so this is kind of why i've been just sitting on a lot of treasure train coupons lately and even having some other special event ones that we can transfer over to the treasure coupons uh so yeah we kind of need to decide if this is going to be a good series and we'll have to find that out on thursday now i do want to say we've had special events a couple times right i think magic academy was one of them um was pvp oriented was not that great we did have retro gaming which was for the void campaign which was very good because it had some stats that are really hard to get elsewhere you're getting all damage dealt you're getting maim damage which is insanely good control immunity speed uh damage reduction getting tons of bonus secondary stats too that are hard to come by like block chance precision chance things you don't see on your skill card but do apply in the void campaign so the retro gaming series was really good and the bonuses for getting like higher up in that treasure series was good too uh beyond that we also had the hero merch series which again was more of a side bonus because we had tower of dream tower of oblivion sea land <sighs> i almost feel like what we're about to get is similar to this you know how we had one that was like okay we had the void campaign with alien dessert we had uh realms gate vortex over here and then we had the hero token which is for classes i'm really hoping what we see is one for classes that's something we haven't seen uh in a while in a normal treasure train series so if we can get one that's specifically built for classes this could be a very very big thing now remember if you guys do have extra tickets from these special events and everything you can still convert them over to regular treasure train tickets because sometimes if you have like two to eight charm tickets it's not worth using them in the event it's better to keep pulling them up and using them here now i will say one thing previously when we had those other series come out the hero march and the retro gaming you were unable to use treasure crystals during that event it basically has normal search guild search and then it had like a new special button that new special button only allowed you to use the regular treasure train coupons so be prepared it's probably going to be the same continue saving treasure crystals basically to do these loops right here and this is why i've been saying a lot of times just save your regular treasure train coupons even if like hero token comes up because we might get something new like this week and it might be really really good so that's gonna be it we're gonna see on thursday what the preview looks like as far as the reward structure goes for our gems and wishing coins and then thursday night we'll have a live stream we'll be taking a look at the event we might also have void vortex coming out with the new difficulty so we'll have to keep an eye out for that as well and we'll have to see whether the treasure train series is actually worth it so hopefully you guys enjoy this one see you guys next time